getting our salt bench um, Kentucky bluegrasses, but we use salinity screening and do trials such as this on all our species of warm season and cool season grasses. We do that because we think that salt tolerance is an important trait and sometimes helps us with our drought tolerance. So an example for Kentucky bluegrass is Moonlight SLT is our current variety that has salt tolerance and it's doing very well again in this study. But we're looking for new cultivars that also might have some tolerance to salt. The reason we do that is a lot of our customers have poor quality water and they need grasses that will stay green regardless of the salts in their waters. And there are big differences between varieties, as you can see in this study. Uh, we're rating it every two weeks, and we increase the salt levels to the point where we get death on some varieties and other varieties staying over 50, 60, 70% green. An example of the value of this would be in Mexico where they have such salty conditions that they can't plant grass in their pastures. So we've done research on our forage grasses, for example, and have varieties that have higher salt tolerance that they can incorporate and use down there where they would not be able to grow grass, and now they can. The same goes in the turf world. We've seen situations where our salt tolerant tall fescues do much better in Southern California on sod farms where they have salty water conditions and usually they can't grow in tall fescue in the summer. When it gets hot and dry, the salts uh, cause problems in the sod, but our salt tolerant varieties like Saltillo and Rain Dance perform extremely well, so they're able to grow in their sod faster and have healthier turf because of its salinity tolerance. We've seen some success in perennial ryegrass uh, due to our salinity breeding where overseeding situations we've proven that on golf courses that they've had trouble because of their salty conditions we found the variety carly is quite successful in arizona we have some golf courses where they were not able to really have even coverage over all their fairways with ryegrass because in the saltier areas it wouldn't come up and Carly has shown that it can establish quite quickly and fast and tolerate the salty conditions there so Carly has been one of the choices for guys that have issues or gals that have issues with salty conditions for overseeding or permanent turf. Hello, I'm John Holmes, president of Atlas Turf International. Our company specializes in providing turf grass solutions to golf courses, sports fields, and infrastructure projects around the world. Partnering with PureSeed, we're able to offer an integrated portfolio of grasses connecting the warm and cool season markets worldwide to the improved genetics developed by PureSeed testing. For projects in highly salt affected areas, Pure Dynasty Seeded Pass Palum is unmatched. Whether the turf grass is adjacent to the ocean and exposed to sea spray, or irrigated with water containing high salt content, Pure Dynasty thrives. Hola, soy Arsenio Martinez, head greenkeeper en Golf Costa Deja en Tenerife, Islas Canarias. Golf Costa Deja lleva funcionando 22 años, y este año hemos decidido la siembra de las calles con la variedad de Paspalum Pure Dynasty. La elección de esta variedad es debido a la alta concentración de salinidad en el suelo superior a 9000 de conductividad que se ha ido acumulando a lo largo de los años desde la construcción del campo. La lesión de esta variedad lógicamente es por su alta tolerancia a la sanidad y aparte por su valor estético. La siembra se realizó a primeros de junio y la apertura la tenemos a primeros de octubre y la siega de las calles la estamos realizando a 10 milímetros. As you can see, there are several choices with Pure Seed for those turf managers dealing with salinity issues or forage. We have our Fine Fescue Seabreeze GT, all the way through Tall Fescue, Perennial Ryegrass, Kentucky Bluegrass, and we're even working on Creeping Bent Grass for a future variety that will give turf managers more choices that have poor quality water for their bent grass, greens, fairways, and tees. 
Thank you so much again for watching our Salinity episode.